someone had a question about transdermal magnesium oil. Would I recommend it? I have used it in the past. Uh, there was a time where I uh, walked 20 miles and my legs and my calves were killing me and they were sore. So I got some of this and it seemed to help temporarily. But I want to discuss this more in depth because most people take it for joint pain, muscle ache, leg cramps, and fibromyalgia, but they're not looking at the deeper cause. Now I can see if you worked out and you had this overtraining a situation and you needed it, that makes sense. But if you're having this ongoing and you're trying to get your magnesium from the outside in, you might want to reevaluate. I want to mention something about fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is, is usually a systemic problem. Um, I used to do seminars around town and I did a seminar at the fibromyalgia support group years ago. And I basically dismantled the group because I did my demonstration and one thing I found about fibromyalgia, and I, I put a link down below for those of you that have it, it's nearly always connected to the gallbladder. If the gallbladder is either congested or there's a problem, the person's gonna have fibromyalgia symptoms. In fact, 99% of the people at the support group and even patients coming through my office usually had it on the right side. So if you have fibromyalgia, watch that video uh, and you'll see the connection between the gallbladder and how it can cause a lot of pain in your body. Now, as far as the absorption of magnesium through the skin, it usually comes through the sweat glands and the hair follicles, okay? Which really only represents 1% of all your skin. That's where it kind of goes in. And the purpose of magnesium is to provide a mineral for over 400 enzymes that are involved with a lot of different reactions. Um, one is to generate ATP in the mitochondria, which is the energy currency. Another one is to repair DNA and RNA. Another one is for muscle relaxation and nerve conductivity. Another one is the synthesis or the production of muscle protein. So we need magnesium for a lot of different things. If you're low in magnesium, you could have a loss of appetite, arrhythmias, because it's one of the key electrolytes for the heart. You could be fatigued because of this right here, low ATP. You could be feeling weak, tremor, muscle cramps, and high blood pressure. Uh, the foods that are high in magnesium are all the leafy greens because of its chlorophyll. And it's interesting about chlorophyll because chlorophyll has a very similar uh, chemistry to your own blood, but blood has iron as its core mineral. Chlorophyll has magnesium. The foods that you would want to eat to get magnesium would be spinach, chard, greens, like in salad, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, avocado, almonds, other nuts. But a lot of people just don't consume enough leafy greens, so they're usually deficient in magnesium. In fact, probably 60% of the population is deficient or has subclinical deficiencies in magnesium. They have a lot of muscle cramps. They eventually get heart issues. Now you need magnesium to make vitamin D work, okay? So if you're low in magnesium, vitamin D doesn't seem to be activated as well. And vitamin D is one of the main anti-inflammatory vitamins. It's not really even a vitamin, it's like a hormone. It acts like cortisol in the body, which is an anti-inflammatory hormone. So if you have chronic joint pain, muscle ache, or even fibromyalgia, and it's not related to gallbladder, you probably need more, more vitamin D to provide this anti-inflammatory effect. In addition to that, if you're new to my channel, you need to be doing intermittent fasting. This will definitely drop the inflammation. And you need to be doing low carbs as in keto. I put a link down below for new people, but if you've been on my channel, you've heard this a million times. So in summary, I think this is a really good remedy for um, people that overtrain when they're working out or you're wa walking long distances. But if you're having a chronic problem with any of these symptoms right here, you wanna look a little bit deeper. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.